What's up, y'all? So I just want to talk about something <clears throat> real quick. I saw 78's video, and I can't, this was a couple of days ago, and I hadn't had a chance to, was it yesterday? Maybe it was yesterday, but Tom Lawford wins worst promoter of the year. I'm going to tell you why. There's two, he ruined what ESPN and it says was two of the top five pound for pound fighters in boxing today. One, obviously, uh, um, uh, Chocotito loses back-to-back -back fights, gets stopped in the third or fourth round. It looks like it's going to be a hard road for him to come back. But what he should have did was once he, when he realized uh, Chocotito was too small for that division, he shouldn't have rushed the rematch. What fighter, what man, for that matter, isn't one, doesn't want to fight the man he just lost to? Right? That, that's just, it's innate in us. It's instinctively innate in most alpha males, I would say, I'm, you know, I'll speak for alpha males. But in addition to that, he allowed, and I was thinking this, when David Lemieux sound with Billy Joe Saunders, I kind of had a silent laugh because, you know, you can see where the landscape of boxing is going, right? They're going to get that belt and Canelo is going to be the... <laughs> Canelo's, that's going to be Canelo's belt, especially if Billy Joe Saunders beats David Lemieux. You can already see Canelo fighting um, uh, Billy Joe Saunders, right? And it may be a clause, it may be a silent clause in the contract that if Billy Joe Saunders wins, he gets Canelo. You see what I'm saying? So that may happen. And, and what's more importantly about that is Triple G has no one to fight. He has no one to fight to make money. What he's been doing, because you know he has—he's only fought two Hall of Famers in his career. Well, it's yet to be determined will Daniel Jacobs be a Hall of Fame. He's a—he's a Hall of Fame humanitarian because of what he did for cancer. But I—I I don't think—I don't think he's yet a uh, first ballot Hall of Fame. He's—he's—he's he's, he's about three to four, three to four good to great fights away from being in the Hall of Fame in terms of boxing. Canelo will be a Hall of Famer. He's brought so much money to the sport. He's done. He's kept Mexico engaged in boxing. So without a doubt, he will be a Hall of Famer. So he's only fought one Hall of Famer and only two notable world champions. So you go to figure uh, Triple G is, has nowhere to go. He's definitely not going to fight Daniel Jacobs. He's definitely not going to fight Jamal Charlo. Um, so who would he fight? You know, he would have to go all the way down the barrel, which he's been doing from the Dominic Wades, uh, the Martin Murrays, the uh, uh, Willie Monroe, things like that. So Tom Lawford has earned worst promoter of the year. And look at his cards now. I mean, they're going to Vegas to promote. Um, what's that kid that beat uh, Lomachenko? He's fighting somebody, which is a good undercard fight, but it's not a main event fight. It's, it's not a main event card. You know what I'm saying? So uh, uh, Tom Offer is not going to like me after this video, but I don't think he liked me in the beginning anyway because I can, like, you know, he's kind of uh, he's kind of stale. He's a good guy. Promotions are. I will say this. He treats media well in terms of the attributes. Like, it's always good food. Uh, Triple G is accessible. Abel Sanchez is always accessible. So from that vantage point, uh, from a people's person, he's awesome. And uh, so, but uh, well, I wouldn't say from a true people's person because uh, I've I've done positive articles on Triple G, and they and they won't give me they didn't give me a credential to their last two fights. So so that tells you go figure. So that tells you that he's not really a true fan of me anyway because I. I've done nothing but do positive things for him, right, per se. Per se. You know, I've held Triple G's hand to the fire in terms of fighting someone big. But at the end of the day, Tom Lawford has earned worst promoter of the year. You know, I would have loved to give it to Oscar. But at the end of the day, I mean, he beat, he beat the shit out of Tom Lawford by TKO. I mean, Oscar pretty much owns, and I'm stealing, I'm not stealing, I'm borrowing 78's words. He owns Triple G's career right now. There's nowhere he can go. He has Billy Joe Saunders in a conundrum, and he, and he has the rights to Canelo, Daniel Jacobs. You, you guys get what I'm—I I wouldn't say he owns the rights to him, but 
Daniel Jacobs would gladly fight Canelo before he would do the rematch with Triple G. You know, although I, I mean, the, the money would be the disclaimer. He would want the rematch because he just lost him, but the astronomical amount of money he could make fighting Canelo versus a Triple G. So, uh, so salute to Tom Offer, man. I mean, it's going to be a tough road now. I don't know where Triple G goes. You know, I have no idea where he goes. His L.A. market is in deep. I mean, his L.A. I mean, he did a hell of a job building his L.A. market. But now his L.A. market is in dire strait right now. I mean, like for real. Uh, he has no fighters right now that can get him 10,000 people. I don't think Triple G, uh, I genuinely don't believe Triple G can sell out the forum anymore. He may be able to get eight, 9,000 people in StubHub in the summertime because it's a great place to hang out. But the forum, no way he gets 12, 13,000 people in there. It's just no way. He, I wouldn't say he's damaged goods. He's reached his apex. He's reached his ceiling. So, um, so that's just what I believe. That's what I feel. Tom Wofford, you've earned it. Oscar De La Hoya has you by the nuts. And, uh, um, What's looming is a Jamal Charlo fight, but I, but I believe he would take the uh, Daniel Jacobs fight before he would do the Jamal Charlo fight. So anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Oscar destroyed Tom Lawfer, but it's still leap years, leap years away from catching Mayweather promotions. He's so jealous of Floyd. Anyways, man, I'm gone. Peace.